Hey everybody, it is Andrea Chalmers here of the Healthy Water Movement. Today I'm going to do a really fun demo for you guys. Uh, I'm going to do actually two quick ones. Uh, one is going to be we're going to test the ORP in this water and then we're going to test the pH levels in it. Um, actually, well, not so much the pH, but more if it is alkaline or if it's acidic. I don't actually have a chart here to show the full pH levels, but I'll put a chart inside the comments so that you can kind of see for yourselves where each one of these lie. Pretty cool, hey? So the way that we're going to actually test these waters today with the ORP, the ORP meaning oxidation reduction pot potential, is I have an ORP meter here. This is what scientists and doctors use to test our fluids to see if they're either oxidizing or antioxidizing. So when we're going to go through this, it's either going to show us a positive number. Positive is not good. It's bad. It means that it's an oxidizing. It's bad for our bodies. It's, it's um, increasing the aging process inside of our bodies. And when we see a negative number, it's actually going to be antioxidizing, which means it's actually helping us slow down the aging process. So if you know about oxidation and antioxidation and how it plays a role in our bodies, um, our bodies all uh, create free radicals. It's a natural occurring process and they're constantly neutralizing. That's just what our body does. But what happens if we're putting too many, too much um, oxidative stuff inside of our bodies is it actually creates more free radicals than our body can neutralize. And that's what happens when our body become, goes into an oxidative state, uh, an oxidative stress. So that's when our bodies begin to form disease and stuff like inflammation, uh, arthritis, diabetes, cancers, um, heart conditions, all of that kind of stuff, like obesity, things that, um, that are not good for our bodies. We're putting our bodies in a type of state where we actually cannot um, neutralize and repair our cells. We're putting them in a state where they can't actually um, neutralize themselves in quick enough, right? The free radicals just keep um, piling up. So what happens with antioxidants is it allows us to repair our cells and our cells to actually neutralize themselves. So what we're gonna get into here today, um, we're gonna go through these waters here and I see on the side here, here's a banana. So anybody that needs a quick, a quick visual here, this is a banana. It's been sitting out for a few days here. I just wanted to show you guys. Right? When we see a banana, it normally starts off green, a little bit yellow. Now this banana has been sitting out for probably three or four days and it's beginning to oxidize. So that means that it's actually beginning to die. And that's exactly what happens to our cells. So if we actually have the antioxidants, it slows down this process, right? And would keep this banana in a better condition longer. So we're gonna keep it like that. Um, so what we're going to get into here, I'm just going to grab a little towel here just to make it a little bit easier when we're going through this meter. So we're going to start with, what do we want to start with? We'll start with the Kangen water, just because it's right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on this ORP meter, I'm going to turn it on. And right now, what happens when we go like this, it actually the air is slightly, um, it picking up that basically it's, um, the ORP is in the positive because they are water, our air is actually slightly acidic. So what I'm going to do here, first I'm going to pour all these waters. So we're going to pour the Kangen water. I'm going to put that there so you can see it, Kangen water. And then we're going to pour, this right here is a bottled alkaline water. So we're going to pour that, super expensive in the store. I was really shocked to see it. It was like three bucks for this. And then we got the Fiji water. People say this stuff is the best of the best. It says it's natural spring water. Um, from the islands of Fiji. So we're gonna pour that in, take a look at that. Then we have this, this is what The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson endorses. He says this water is the best of the best. So I personally wanna see, I love The Rock and I wanna see if his water is the best water. So we'll go from there, move that over here. This is smart water, it actually says that it, it has antioxidants in it. So very interesting, we'll take a look and see if it does. We're gonna see if that's the truth or not. So we're going to pour some in there. And then this is Nestle Pure. This is uh, just a regular, what's it say? Natural spring water. Cool. So natural spring water. We're going to take a look at that. See what we get out of that one. For just one second here. Then we have the vitamin water. I used to be a big fan of these until I saw something that you guys are going to see pretty quick here. So I'm going to pour that. 
And another thing I used to be a pretty big fan of growing up was these things. So this is Sprite, it's actual Sprite, zero sugar, zero calories, so it's giving the illusion that it's super healthy and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna pour that in there and kind of just see. I'm just gonna pour all of this because I'm gonna show you guys something at the end here. Actually, if, uh, we're gonna leave it like that, but never mind. Never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're gonna start with the Kingdom Order. So we're going to turn this bad boy on. And so what happens when we turn this on? It actually takes a minute for it to um, pick up what the readings are. So I'm gonna stir it for a few seconds here just so, so it can start picking up the numbers on it. Because what happens here is it just takes a minute for it to keep rising. And I'll actually just show it to you guys here. So remember I said how negative is good? <clears throat> right away, the king and water goes into the negative. And this water's actually been sitting out for a little bit here. So when I actually get out of the tab, I get quite a bit higher in number. What are we at? Minus 391. So it's kind of sticking in and around there. So when I pour it right out of my tap, sometimes I get like minus 500 and 600. So very antioxidizing, like super. Um, so we're gonna take that out here. Let's turn this off a bit here. And now we're gonna go into the alkaline water. So this stuff is super expensive. I couldn't even believe it. You know what? I even had a hard time finding this stuff and for good reason. So I'm going to show you here in a second. So what are we getting here? We're getting into the 100s that it's in the positive. So it's actually oxidizing. This is causing, uh, increasing the aging process on our, in our cells inside our body. Um, not good. What are we going up to? 142, 143, and it keeps rising. I'm not going to keep it going like we can kind of see. If you want to see it go to 150, we can do that. I hope you guys can see it. I'm like move it around here. We're in the 150. So I'm just going to take that out for one second here. So we know that that alkaline water is actually oxidizing. So it's no good for us. It's bad. It's causing us to age, get old faster than we really want to. Now we're going to take a look at the Fiji water. I have a lot of people saying Fiji water is amazing. So let's take a look here. Right away, it's in the 140s. What is it at? 140, 144. So again, this water is oxidizing. I'm not going to let it keep jumping. We can kind of see, right? If it's anything in the positive, it's oxidizing, it's bad for us. So it could keep jumping, but let's not bother wasting our time because we've already decided this stuff is no good. Okay. Does the rock hold his name about how amazing this water is? What do you guys think? What do you think? The rock, I'm disappointed in you for all your workouts and all of that crazy stuff that you do on Instagram. I'm quite disappointed to see that we're in the positive 195. What are we getting up to? The positive 200. This is oxidizing. Oxidizing. This is causing your body to age faster than it needs to. Oh. We're in the, yeah, it went up to what, 216 or whatever. So, super oxidizing. I'm actually pretty shocked with that because, you know, I love The Rock. Like, I love him. I love, I still do. Um, you know, sometimes when you endorse stuff and you get paid for things, you know, it's uh, more about the money than it is about the, the health features of it. So, now we're going to go to the smart water. The smart water claims that there's antioxidants in it. And. What do you guys think before I show you the number? Do you think it's got antioxidants in it? You think that water is super smart? What are we at? What are we at? 220? 221? Let's just leave it at that. Let's not embarrass it anymore. It's actually very oxidizing. So for the fact that they even put antioxidants on there is just beyond me. It's obviously a marketing ploy. Why would you do that? So, okay. Uh, smart water, not so smart. Determine that. Now we're gonna go on to the Nestle Pure. I'm already gonna tell you I don't have high hopes for it because this water is, uh, you know, Nestle Pure. I just feel the way that the bottle is and all of that, it just doesn't seem like it's a very high scale water, which we've already pretty much debunked all of these. So what are we at? We're in the 200, so it's kind of in the same category as the rest of the, these waters here. So super oxidizing. All right, so we can basically say all of these waters here, these are all no good for you. From alkaline, bottled alkaline, all the way to the Nestle Pure. Now we're gonna go into the vitamin water. 
and that stuff's got a ton of ingredients on it. If you start reading it, like there it goes on and on. It says it's reverse osmosis water, sugar cane, citric calcium, natural flavors, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even gonna try to say some of these things. If I can't say it, it's not good. So this stuff, it's positive 195. So we're gonna go ahead and say that that's oxidizing and move on to the next one. So vitamin water, not as good as it is marketed to be. Right. Oh, you know what? Sorry, all over the place here. Okay, sodas. Who here thinks soda is good for you? Let's take a look here. So we've got Sprite. It's Sprite, um, zero sugar, zero calories. Uh, the healthier option if you're chewing soda. I could have picked the regular stuff. I don't know why I didn't. I just figured, you know what, if I was ever going to drink a soda, I would go for this just because it said that. So I just figured, you know what, um, this would probably be a better one to show you guys. So right now where it's jumping, it's jumping. It's not stopping. It's going up very, very quickly. What do you guys think of that? What do you think of that? I want to keep this going for a second here just because it's moving very rapidly and then you guys can kind of see here. So what happens here um, with these uh, sodas, the darker the soda too, the more oxidizing it is. So right now we are at 290s or something. What are we at? 292 and it's going to keep going up. So extremely, extremely, extremely oxidizing. So we are going to basically stop that and I just want to show you guys this one time because I know there's so many skeptics about Kangen water and whatever so we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you again I'm just gonna put it here I can't even see it at this point um, I'm just gonna stir it around and you guys can figure it out I'll take a look at it in a second here is it oxidizing is it in the positive or the negative we're in the negative 400 <laughs> that's insane it's insane. So, um, okay, so we just basically determined every single one of these from the soda all the way to the bottled alkaline water is actually oxidizing. This stuff is all causing you to age. It's causing um, havoc on your body. It's not doing any good for you whatsoever. It's actually um, causing basically damage to the cells, it's increasing the aging process. The only thing here that actually is slowing down the aging process actually quite drastically, minus 400 for antioxidants, that's huge. There's a doctor, I can't think of his name, I'm gonna try to say it, um, that says one glass of the Kangen water is equivalent to more than a human could possibly eat in fruits and vegetables in a day for antioxidants. So this is good. I'm gonna put on um, some articles from PubMed, that's where you go and find scientific research in regards to um, actual tests that have been done and research that has been confirmed on hydrogen rich, electrolyzed reduced water and the role it plays on um, oxidation in the body and oxidative stress. So basically, I want you guys to take a look at that because again, I'm not a scientist. I go through and do the research through actual valid stuff. I don't go onto Google and start reading into somebody's opinions and stuff like that. I actually go to the source of where things are legit. So this stuff here is, if you want to slow down the aging process, if you want to give your body the best ability to um, like uh, repair its cells and um, kind of reduce inflammation, all of these things, right? Um, this is the stuff you want to go with. So give me one second here. My screen's popping up, but my phone's dying. Let's get close that there. <clears throat> Sorry, so I'm going to keep this really quick here. So now what I'm going to do, I want to do this really quickly while I have all these waters out here. Now the next major thing about Kangen water is the pH level, the alkalinity of it. So what I'm going to show you here is we've got pH drops. I'm going to quickly pour these all in. I'm just going to pour a few drops in each of them. Pour a bit more in here. Okay, so when we look at these, obviously, um, I'll try to I'll remind me to put a chart on there. If I don't do it, ask for it. Uh, we're just gonna stir all this stuff up here. Stirring, stirring, stirring. 
So basically the darker the um, color is, like dark purples, whatever, that's the higher the alkalinity, higher pH level. And then when you get into these colors, it's super acidic, right? Um, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna show you guys. So we got the alkaline bottled water and then we have our alkaline water here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just gonna show you guys Something really cool here, because this is this is alkaline water made with chemicals, so it's not the same as this. This is alkalized um, water made through water, like a water ionizer electrolysis. So two completely different things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take this water. You can see the two color differences here, right? I didn't pour a whole lot of drops. If you want, I'll throw a little bit more in there. I know people always wanna see as much as possible. Pour more in here, more in here. It'll just make it a little bit more true for you guys to see. Obviously the Kangen water is darker, cool. We don't really care so much about that right now. Obviously the alkaline, alkalinity in it is pretty high. So what I'm gonna do here is when, when and water is made with chemicals versus going through electrolysis for um, to uh, increase the alkalinity is what happens if you were to blow air into this drink, into this water, it's actually going to neutralize and lower the pH level. So, so I'm not going to go too far with that, but you can see it's kind of going down to a green color. So what happens is uh, the air that we breathe is actually slightly acidic. So what happens when I actually blow air into it, it is actually um, eliminating basically the alkalinity in the water. So by the time it actually hits your bot or your stomach, there's no new, no health benefits to it whatsoever. So this is the Kangen water. I'm going to do the same thing. You can see it's here, dark purple. It doesn't change. Right, it stays dark. So what happens is when it's made through chemicals, it's not true, it's not real. Alkaline water actually cannot even be bottled. So when they have this, they have to use chemicals. It's not good for you, it's actually pretty bad. It'll even tell you in here to be, to, they can only drink so much of it because of the chemicals that are added into it. So keep that in mind next time you might wanna go waste your money on alkaline water. So one other thing I wanna show you guys here, I wish I had more soda, I ended up dumping it all here, I kinda of screwed up on it. So what I wanna show you here is when people actually purchase Kangen water or looking to purchase it, they wanna know basically, I've been drinking all of these waters, how long is it gonna take for my body to neutralize? Well, because the antioxidants are so strong in this water, all of these waters are actually going to neutralize right away. So we're just gonna pour some in here. You can just kind of see the colors changing. I'm gonna back these up. I'm gonna change this. It's great, neutralizes it. There we go. There we go. Now, what happens here is actually, I'm not even sure what the vitamin water. I've never tested it before. Let's kind of pour it in there. Okay, so it doesn't change it at all. And we're gonna see really quickly here. What I wanna do though is I'm actually gonna pour half of this so I can show you something pretty crazy here. I'm just gonna keep a little bit of this pop. So basically what happens is it takes 32 glasses of Kangen water to actually neutralize one glass of, um, of soda. So basically you can see here, I kept it kind of, I didn't have a whole lot in there. I'm going to do a better video on this when I have more soda, but I want to show you this more importantly because I hate soda and when people drink it and think that it's okay to drink you really don't know the havoc that it's reaping on your body so let me just dump this out actually no i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna show you guys all of these because what happens is even just the tiniest bit of soda will put your body in an acidic state so you can see here you see that you see that okay how about this one just a tiny bit i'm just putting a tiny bit in there a tiny sip puts your body in an acidic state you think you're have it's okay to drink some of this stuff you're actually putting your body in this crazy acidic state. See that? That's how bad sodas are for you. If anything, if you don't want to drink water with antioxidants, it's gonna help your body repair itself. Um, 
don't drink sodas. Like this stuff is killing you. Like we don't talk about this enough. This stuff is detrimental to your health. These things are all oxidizing as well. It's increasing the aging process, but it's nothing compared to how terrible these things are. It doesn't matter that it's zero calories, zero sugar, even sparkling water, sparkling grapefruit, all of that kind of crap, all of that stuff does the same thing. It takes 32 glasses of Kangen water to neutralize in your body and like 32 glasses, I can never drink that much. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you find this valuable at all, if you know somebody that needs to see this, somebody that is chronically ill, somebody that's body is always in an oxidative state, um, stress causing any sort of um, inflammation and stuff, they need to check this out because this potentially could be something that could uh, change their lives and improve their health. Uh, and it's awareness that we need to bring. These right here, I don't support bottled water. I hate it. If you go onto Healthy Water Movement, um, you will see I do not support these at all. I bought these just for the purposes of the demo. If we can eliminate these plastics, these things are doing no good to our body. If anything, drink your freaking tap water. If you don't care about your health, drink your tap water because it's no better than any of this stuff. Any of this stuff. We this as. Our role as humans that want to keep our ecosystem and environment clean, we need to stop this. The amount of crap that we're wasting over one-time use bottles of water that's doing no good for our bodies is destroying our environment. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys on that negative note here. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day. I hope you found value in this. And again, if you do, please share like, comment, whatever. I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel as well. Please feel free to watch any of my other videos. I, I appreciate the support, getting the message out as much as possible. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.